Today, in the series of the online awareness sessions that we are running, today's course, OAS 102, will be on what is management. In the OAS 101, we saw together the course about what is an organization. And we saw what are the components of an organization and we divided the organizations to four categories. The four categories are mainly if they are uh, financial profit oriented or not financial profit oriented and publicly owned and privately owned. And we considered four categories of organizations, private companies, private non-governmental organizations, public agencies, and indeed public companies. In our today's course, we are going to define what is management. Uh, after the definition of what is management, we are going to see together the evolution of the management approaches, the philosophies. And in the third part, we are going to see the difference between traditional and modern management. And indeed, at the end, we're going to see just the levels of management. Let's begin by the definition uh, of management very fast. Uh, simple definition is that management is the process of getting things done effectively and efficiently with a team of people. The difference between effectiveness and efficiency is that effectiveness is getting things done. Efficiency is getting things done with the optimum of resources such as time or capital or cost or even other resources. Now, let us see together uh, the philosophy uh, of management and the evolution of the philosophies. At the beginning, people made companies, units, business. Mainly the purpose was to make profit. So in this case, the owner was satisfied. So in the traditional case, the main objective is to make profit for the owner's satisfaction. When compu uh, competition arised, so people began to give importance more to customer satisfaction. It was important that the, they make profit, but the priority was customer satisfaction. And let me give you an example. Let's say we have two approaches of management, A and B two styles of management. If one manages his organization with the style A, at the end of the exercise, let's say 2020, he will make a profit of 1 million units, whatever it is, and the customer satisfaction rate is 32% if we measure it. And in the case of style B, it might be, let's say, as an example, 730,000 instead of 1 million here, and the customer satisfaction rate, let's say, it would be 59%. So the logic of the traditional management goes, gives priority to making profit. And the logic of the B, the modern management, goes more to make an investment of 200 and 70,000 in order to increase customer satisfaction from 32% to 59%. The new category of thinking of management, of managers, of leaders arised in the last uh, 30, 40 years, and we call them visionary leaders. And their management style is to take into consideration Indeed, the owner's satisfaction, the second, the customer satisfaction, but also an important a part of the organization is employees' satisfaction. Managers, employees 
should be satisfied in order to continue the development of the organization on a sustainable basis. Then indeed we have the partners and suppliers and the society satisfaction, mainly if uh, we can give the example of the CSR, for example. Those we call them the stakeholders, the organizations. So in the first case, it's the traditional management where the priority is given to the owner's satisfaction. In the second case, in the modern management, the priority is given to customer satisfaction and we use the initials of QM for indicating quality management. All the systems and standards based on quality management, they give the importance on customer satisfaction. If it's in a hospital, it should be patient and family members. If they are a public organization, there should be the citizens and in the private organizations, the customers, the consumers should be satisfied. And in the case of the visionary organizations, we consider the TQM as total quality management where all the stakeholders should be satisfied. The third point that I'm going to share with you in this short session on what is management, this is the traditional management thinking based on four initials, the PODC, planning, organizing, directing or leading, and controlling. So, uh, planning is the main, the first element of management. We have to plan what is going to happen, what are the processes, and then organize, organize through the processes of the organization, the structure, the human resources, etc. The third one is directing, leading, so putting objectives and lead, motivating our people, leading them for achieving the set of objectives, vision, strategies, KPIs, etc. And indeed the controlling. Controlling if indeed we have uh, to see what, what uh, plan was executed or there are gaps. In the modern management, the Deming methodology, we use the PDCA. So the role of the controlling uh, is reduced. I can give you an example. For example, at the moment, we had 15% of employees in the uh, auto car producers in the States that were working in control and in Japan, it was only 1% uh, working in controlling the quality. So this made, gave a major competitive advantage to the Japanese car industry because they began implementing the PDCA, the Plan, Do, Check, Act. The Deming methodology is that we have to plan any process and then implement or execute the process and then audit, check it, Audit it if what is planned is being executed and then act. Act means mainly the corrective actions. Corrective actions mean uh, improve the process, train the people for reaching efficiency. At the end, I will show you this uh, slide where we can divide the management into three levels. One of them is top managers, the second one is middle managers, and the third line is line managers. And we have the employees. If we are going to take the example of a bank, uh, mainly top management is the board, the executive director, the middle managers is the managers of the departments that are mainly in the headquarters, and the line managers can be given an example as the branch directors or branch governors. I'm done for today's online session. The third session, uh, the 103, we will present you 
a guide, a management guide. We call it 954. And we are going to see what are the systems and subsystems to take into consideration while we, have, we are managing our organizations. Thank you.